Hey everybody, welcome back to the printing workshop. I'm Matthew and today I'm going to show you how to replace a fuser on a Versalink C400 series printer. Now the first step to replacing the fuser is power down your machine. Because if you try to replace your fuser without powering down your machine, it's going to give you a 010 error. Now to change your fuser, first thing you're going to want to do is open this back cover. Once it's open, on the inside you'll see with the green handles right here is the fuser. Now always be very careful with the fuser because they get very hot. So to take the fuser out, on the lower left side of the fuser is a gray squeezable button. And on top of that is where the ridges are is a thumb hold. On the opposite side is another thumb hold and down below is some more ridges where you can grab it with your other finger. So grab it with two hands firmly so you don't lose control of it. Squeeze the gray button and pull straight out. And there's your fuser. It's that simple. To go back together, you want to get your new fuser out of the box. Make sure you have it by the handles, just like you came out. And on the sides are two dowels that will guide the fuser into place. Those dowels go into these little slots on the sides of the printer frame. So you'll take your fuser line it up with those slots and give it a good push firmly seat the fuser it should lock into place and then when you're done with that just close your back cover and then restart your machine if you'd like to see more how-to videos on this same model click here if you'd like to see more quick how-to videos on other xerox products subscribe to our channel Thank you.